need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. The color picker is one of several tools that you can use to select colors in Photoshop. If you want to view the color picker, you can either click on the foreground or background color selection boxes in the toolbox, or click the active or selected color selection box in the color panel. You can select a color visually using the color field and color slider in this dialog box, or you can type the numeric values for each color component into the text boxes provided if you happen to know them. To select a color using the color field and color slider, first select a component next to the HSB, RGB, or lab values in the color picker. We'll just give one of those a click. Then to set a color, click and drag the white triangles next to the color slide up and down to select the general color that you want to select. Just click and drag those white triangles. Then click and drag your mouse inside of the color field to place the circle over the color that you're attempting to select. And you'll see those values change as you move your mouse around. Now you'll see the selection that you've chosen appear to the right of the color slider above the current selection. So you see that over here. If you're designing graphics for the web, you may also want to click the Only Web Colors checkbox in the lower left corner of this dialog box to restrict yourself to colors that will display well on the web. That's located right over here. If that box is left unchecked and you select a color that isn't web safe, a small box will appear next to the color in the color picker over here. And that alerts you that this isn't a web safe color. So you can go ahead then here and click that small Q and it will change it to the nearest web safe color for you. Also, you may select a color in the color picker and then see a small exclamation point in a triangle up here next to that color in the color picker. So we might choose one and we'll see that appear. And that icon alerts you to colors that cannot be reproduced in the CMYK model of printable colors like neon colors. You can click this icon to select the closest CMYK equivalent of the color that you selected in the color picker. When you've selected the color that you want, go ahead and choose a color. You then select OK and your current color choice then you'll see over here is now your new foreground color. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.